Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Deputy Minister, colleagues from the SKA Project Office. Um, allow me to begin by thanking you all for coming to this media briefing. Um, well, the long and le eagerly awaited announcement regarding the SKA uh, site was made this afternoon following today's meeting of the members of the SKA organization at Schiphol Airport in the Netherlands. After nine years of work by the South African and Australian SKA site bid teams, the independent SKA site advisory committee, which is made up of world-renowned experts, carried out an objective technical and scientific assessment of the sites in South Africa and Australia, and identified by consensus Africa as the preferred site. However, in order to be inclusive, the SKA organization has agreed that it should construct one of the three SKA receiver components in Australia. Two will be constructed in Africa. A meeting of the members decided to split the project, which in our view is an unexpected decision given the search we'd always understood for a single site. We had hoped the unambiguous recommendation of the SSAC would be accepted as the most sound scientific outcome. However, we accept the compromise in the interest of progress and as an acknowledgement, we believe, of the sterling work done by our scientists and the excellent SKA project team. An important aspect of the site decision is the recognition of the Meerkat telescope, which is being designed and built in the Northern Cape, Peru, by South African scientists and engineers as a critical step toward the implementation of the Square Kilometer Array project. The Meerkat will supplement the sensitive SKA Phase 1 dish array, providing the majority of the dishes for this phase. This will be the most sensitive radio telescope in the world once the SKA is on stream in 2016. We believe this recognition of the Meerkat is substantive evidence of the great strides made by the local radio astronomy community since South Africa signaled its interest in the square kilometer array. South Africa with its eight partner countries, Botswana, Ghana, Kenya, Madagascar, Mauritius, Mozambique, Namibia, and Zambia have been working on the bid to host the SKA since 2003. The final proposal was submitted to the SKA Sighting Group on 15 September 2011. On the basis of its analysis of technical, scientific, and other factors, we did find through the SSAC in favor of the African proposal, as well as in favor of the African implementation plans and cost factors. The decision by the SKA organization to build the majority of the SKA in Africa coincides with our celebrations for Africa Day today. It also fits in well with the African agenda as we celebrate the 49th anniversary of the founding of the Organization of African Unity and the 10th anniversary of the African Union. The SKA, as you know, has been endorsed by the African Union heads of state both in 2010 as well as earlier this year. The SKA project is a global scientific enterprise to build one of the largest scientific instruments ever envisaged. It is being designed to answer fundamental questions in physics, astronomy, and cosmology in order for us to understand the origins and workings of the universe better and to reveal new and unexpected phenomena that will enthrall and challenge us. Since 2005, we have awarded almost 400 grants and bursaries to postdoctoral fellows, and PhD and MSc students, as well as undergraduate students. As a country and as the African partners, we remain committed to the SKA project. We've always said we are ready to host the SKA, and the world has listened to us. I would like to thank my cabinet colleagues, particularly the Interministerial Committee on the SKA, our president for his support, the Deputy Minister of Science and Technology, 
Deputy Minister Hanukom for his hard work, the scientists who really are the ones who matter, as well as the astronomers, I'm sure they're all very excited today, officials of the Department of Science and Technology, especially the DG who I've promised not to text anymore today, <laughs> and uh, Dr. Bernie Funerov and his excellent team at the Square Kilometre Array Project Office. I hope South Africa and Africa will celebrate with us. Thank you very much.